Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in Vance, Alabama. I was gonna make a video yesterday, but I just, I don't know, didn't feel like it. Here's how you really mess up your whole week. Rack on my pump stuck for whatever reason. I got maybe 10,000 miles on this engine. Everything's been rebuilt. So something in the pump just jammed up. I, I don't know. I didn't build it, I had a shop do it. So I had a different shop build another pump for another engine. And they just got done with it, so my brother brought it down to me. We're gonna do this in the uh, hotel parking lot. There it is. Brand new. Nice place to rebuild your truck. <laughs> Got a load of uh, brand new Mercedes on. I picked them up three miles from here. This is Thursday, I broke down Monday night. They're nice, but man, are they expensive. 65,000 a piece. Look at that. Look how fat them tires are. It's pretty cool, I like hauling cars. I don't like when a truck breaks. Every time it breaks, I'm hours from home. Last year I melted a piston in Maryland got it rebuilt something else exploded transmission exploded in Indiana here we are in Alabama with a broken pump so I'll make another video hopefully tonight of it running so we got it pinned should have made a video on how to take it off because it's not super easy. You got to pin it there. There's a hole. This bolt's just sitting in here, but there's a cam that spins down the bottom of this. If you see down, can't see in the hole, but there's a cam in there and it's completely round except for where this bolt fits. There's a like a notch, and I think that means number one's a top dead center, and there's a hole in the flywheel. You have to line up two. I don't know where my screwdriver went, but hole if you got the fancy tool you can put it in this big hole and get to the flywheel gear and spin the engine but I don't have it so I just put a breaker bar on the front of the engine but that small hole there there's a hole in the flywheel to line up with that and that's when number one's a top dead center so you pin that and you pin the pump and then you can take the pump off it's timed I mean, you can advance it and make a little horsepower, but that's stock location. So we just put this bar, it's just a Cornwell ratchet, uh, 15 sixteenths. It only needs to be six point, but that's the sockets we got. And you put it on one of these front bolts and you can spin the engine. So you get the flywheel and the pump, you're able to pin them, then you can pull the pump off. 
and the engine builder i mean that's how fresh my engine is it, it's not even really dirty yet so this is just bullshit but he put that mark to line up with the belts it's just kind of what he does so that works out helps me you got to take the air compressor off all the lines. I mean, there's a bunch of shit to throttle. Took me all day yesterday to get all this crap off. I really wanted my, what I wanted my week to look like. Make sure these are clean. That's where the pump gets its oil. And one's return and one's feed. That's antifreeze for the air compressor. There's a fitting that goes in there and a hose that comes up to the compressor head. So yeah, uh, hopefully it'll be running tonight. Hey, thanks for watching.